to your knowledge, what is military service? Well, military service is um, is, is simply the act of, of um, serving your country, I'd say. Um, so joining the armed forces of your country for a certain amount of time um, and perform certain tasks that your country needs. Okay. Do you care about it? Um, I'm a Greek citizen, so I, whether I care about it or not, it's, it's a reality for me. What does uh, that mean? Well, that uh, I have to do it no matter what. Um, How long has this been the case in Greece? This has been the case for ever since the fall of the dictatorship in uh, 74. I think conscription, I mean, even during the dictatorship, conscription was in place, uh, mandatory conscription for males. So I don't have the exact time frame of, of when this started, but my father did it. Uh, and it's been, it's been like that all, all along. So it hasn't really go gone away. Have you partaken in military service, or is it yet to come? I have not yet uh, done my military service. I will do my military service hopefully next year. You say hopefully, that implies uh, you want hopefully. to do it. Uh, no. Is this something you want to do, or that you have to do? Uh, it is something that I sort of, yeah, want to get, get out of the way. The reason why I'm using the term hopefully is because there's a lot of other obligation that I want to be done with before I start my military service. Uh, because I am, I'm lucky enough to be able to postpone it while I'm studying, um, which which implies that I need to be done with studying to start my military service. So I'm using the term hopefully to refer to the fact that I want to graduate and then join the military. So if everything goes well and I graduate, then I will be able to do my military service. So have you been given special dispensation to delay your military service, or is um, there something available to all Greek citizens? It is that you can delay until you finish your studies. Any anyone can do it. Uh, from for example, if I join the Greek university. So is it something that you have to do at some point, or is it something you have to do by some point? Um, it's something you have to do in general. Now you have the option of when you want to do it. Um, my my best friend did it straight after high school. Right. Um, I know other people that did it right after their bachelor's and then finished it and then went back to doing their master's degrees. So When do most people do it? Uh, I'd say most people do it after their first degree. Okay. Um, so well, yeah. I mean, if most people do it after their first degree, then most people must be doing degrees. Is that the case in Greece? Uh, yeah, most people are studying. I mean, most young people are... Uh, joining universities after high school, the vast majority of them. What percentage I don't, I don't know exact say? percentages. I mean, if you had to estimate, um, I'd say around uh, 80, 75 percent, perhaps. Well, what other it's, options are available to Greeks? Uh, that's a, there aren't that many. So you either, um, I mean, I I might be overestimating the the percentage here. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure I am, but. Um, there aren't that many options available. There aren't that many available jobs for young people, so you can. So, are you very much limited in how far you can get without a degree? Uh, yes, I would say so. Is that um, a desirable state of affairs? I wouldn't say it is a desirable state of affairs, but it is a reality at the moment. Okay. So, young people have to work with what they have, uh, and competition in the job market is really high, and not having a degree is. Yeah, if if you don't have any connections, there's almost no way to get a job. I mean, people with master's degree have str are struggling to get a job. So let alone people who don't even have a degree. So a lot of young people feel the need to have uh, to have higher education after high school, which explains why, at least I feel, a lot of most young people try to pursue um, pursue higher education. Do you think higher education is something we should all aspire to at some point in our lives, or what? Um, I don't believe uh, I don't believe higher education is for everyone. Some people are content with just doing practical labor and and just you know jumping right into working after high school. Um, and some professions need less academic expertise than others. Um, but I think that it, it does it does play a really important role, and I, I do believe that. Um, an important 
part of, of youth should aspire to join academia and to and to pursue higher education. What is the most valuable thing about going to university? Um, Possibly in an, in an academic sense, perhaps, as well as a self-developmental sense. So what, what do you gain from it? Uh, that's that's a very very subjective question. Uh, I don't I'm not sure I can give an objective. But you're answer. being interviewed, so you, you can give a subjective answer. All right, this um, is your story. I thought no, I thought it was okay. Fair enough. I just thought you were try, trying to make me use it as an argument to kind of sort of extrapolate for the whole of Greece, for example. But at a personal level, the value of of a of higher education is to um, yeah, apart from the. Um, the skills you might acquire from an academic degree, which, which can be purely practical or not, um, it is the, the fact that you learn how to how to sort of uh, participate in a civilized discussion and, and be around people of, of different opinions. No matter what, in which academic discipline you are, you're going to encounter uh, different social classes, different opinions. And being in higher education means that you need to learn how to manage that and be able to have a civilized discussion with people. Uh, I think this is the most important lesson you learn from a university, to, to understand differences in, in, in opinions and, and to manage that uh, the best you can. Okay, thank you.